My name's Johnny Lovett and I'm a Gwyneth Jamara Bowendick man. Born in this country, lived all of my life around here. People seem to think that uh, Aboriginals were uh, nomadic and it was a long time before people realised that we had song, dance, language, law, spiritualism, religion and we had technology. We're sitting in an area where there is fish traps and stone houses and some of the stone houses and fish traps go back to 3,000 years before the pyramids were built. Today we've got some of the Melbourne Uni students out here. They're helping us do some mapping and uh, LiDAR scanning of the landscape. This small channel we saw is from here. Yeah, yeah. So what about this part from the lake? We don't need to do that. Yeah, you could cut it off there, All right. I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah got there. it. This place was surveyed back in the 70s, but they only surveyed two of the trap complexes and we're hoping to get some really good mapping stuff done with the Melbourne Uni students, which would be really good. The way that the mob built the channels, they'd cut into the bedrock, they'd light up a fire, they'd move all the loose rock out, they'd light up a fire, heat up the bedrock and get other rock and smash it down and chip away at it. So you can see all alongside of this channel here, um, there's all chipped rock all, all on the side that they've used to build up the wall here. Usually they'll place a basket in the middle that's about 12 feet long, It'll run past the wall, the eels will feed through the basket when there's water in here um, and they'd come in and then they'd realise that they're stuck in the pen um, and when they try to get out they'll head back towards the wall but they won't find the exit of the basket. The Indigenous experience is a very important part of Australia and I think that the world of technology hasn't engaged with it as much as it should. Now, I've been in technology for years and it's only relatively recently that I've been able to work in this field so this is really nice. It's been really exciting for me because I've done nothing of this sort before. It would be really great if we can give them the recognition that they deserve. We've been on this country for a long, long time and I've always deep inside me knew that there was a time frame that people put on us was well and truly not telling the whole story of the length of time that we've been around. We are the oldest race in the world. I would like White Australia to realise the fact that they share our country with us and they share our culture with us and we want them to share that culture with us.